The Armin Bayou Nature Center was created as a living memorial to a man who was considered an environmental visionary and champion. With more than 2,500 acres of protected lands and 370 species of wildlife, the Armin Bayou Nature Center is exactly the kind of preservation project Houston naturalist Armin Iramatige dreamed of. In fact, the day after Armand died, he was scheduled to stand before commissioner's court and lobby for the creation of a parks department to, to save and protect Houston's green spaces. He was born in Houston in 1923. His father was from Spain. His mother was from Monterey, Mexico. And uh, he grew up in North Houston in a Mexican-American neighborhood. He and his brother Hector uh, were, were raised uh, being taught to study nature. After a stint in the military, he received a degree from what's now known as Rice University. But it was his self-education and interest in wildlife and astronomy that led him to become a teacher at the Houston Museum of Natural Science, eventually becoming one of the first curators of the Burke Baker Planetarium. He really was sort of the local Steve Irwin. He was uh, on a popular children's television show. And he was also a very strong advocate and lobbyist for protecting our natural world. In 1970, as he was traveling to view a comet, Iramatige was robbed and killed. But the uh, ecological community, they decided to raise some money to create a memorial, a living memorial, to the man who had done so much to save natural space in uh, the Houston area. The city of Pasadena renaming Middle Bayou to Armand Bayou. And in 1974, the Armand Bayou Nature Center was founded. I think Armand Yermadegui would have been really proud of what we've done today. Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.